Hello, baseball fans. I know you still hyped up over the return of football, but September also means baseball season is the home stretch and three weeks left in the season. Uh, here's how things look. Uh, the Yankees clobbered Boston to the point where they actually fired Dave Dombrowski. Can you believe that? So, um, the Yankees are continuing their... Our, uh, uh, playoff push and um, and our magic number is down to ten to get in and lock in the Eastern Division. Um, the race for um, well, it's, it's, well, our magic number is down to ten to lock in the East Division. Our magic number to get in the playoffs overall is actually eight. So, um, so, so we could be, so we could get in by next week. We could get in the postseason by next week. Um, the Yankees, the Yankees and Astros are still the dog fight for the overall best record at the moment. Both teams are, both teams are ahead of the Dodgers, but they have, but the teams have identical 94 and 50 records. Has the tiebreaker of going four and three against the Yankees this season. The Yankees need to finish ahead of Houston to get home field. Uh, Houston has a match number of ten as well to clinch the, uh, the AL West. Uh, Minnesota finds themselves with a five and a half game lead over Cleveland. So, uh, Cleveland did win uh, the, the last head-to-head meeting earlier today. So. Uh, but Cleveland's still in the thick of the wild card race. Um, Tampa and Oakland hold the spots. Cleveland is a game and a half behind the A's. Boston is way behind. They are eight games out uh, of a playoff position. So they're, they're screwed. As for the National League, the Dodgers are almost there. The Dodgers and 93 and 52 have the best record in the National League by the leagues. And um, their magic number to lock in the NL West is set at two. It can go down to one after Monday. Uh, the Diamondbacks play, but the Dodgers are idle. And if, but, but in either scenario, the Dodgers can clinch the NL West as early as two Um The Braves are having Braves have a stranglehold on the NL East, and the NL Central is starting to come farther, further distant. St. Louis keeps winning, and the Cubs keep losing. Uh, the Cardinals, the Cardinals have a four and a half game lead over the Cubs in the uh, in the National League Central Division. Uh, the Cubs are still in the thick of things in the wild card. They hold the second wild card. They're behind Washington. Uh, by three games for the first one position. They lead Arizona by a game and a half. So, um, that should be an interesting race. Uh, Arizona's in the thick of it. So are Milwaukee and Philadelphia. Even the Mets kind of have an outside shot. But a lot has to happen because there are three weeks left. It's going to be a crazy race. What Now, the upcoming series. What are the upcoming series? Um, when the Yankees finish with Boston on Monday, uh, Washington has an interesting Washington has an interesting interleague series with Minnesota. Houston faces Oakland, so that, that match number will go down immensely. Tampa faces Texas, and Cleveland comes to Anaheim and faces the Angels. Uh, the Braves, the Braves face Philly. St. Louis heads to Denver. The Dodgers have an easy road series against Baltimore. Where everything goes out of park, especially if it's hit by an opposing uh, player. Uh, the Brewers, the Brewers play Miami, and the Mets have a series with Arizona, so that should be interesting. Uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, things, a lot of things could happen by the time I come back on YouTube next next Sunday and give a preview, give a look at the picture of the two weeks. Ago. 
but it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. It's a pretty interesting race, uh, especially the National Wildcard. But um, Philly, who really went big and got Bryce Harper, they have too much to lose here. If they get Bryce, if they lose, if they lose out and fail to make the postseason, even after their big money acquirement for Bryce Harper, it's going to look very bad. And it's going to give them a lot more questions. Even worse if Washington, the former team, gets in. It looks like they will. Uh, Washington's, Washington's match number for a postseason burn is, if my math is correct, it's 16. Which, which is big, but not too big. Uh, that, can go down, that can go down in just over a week. But, um, but yeah. And, uh, of course... Of course, I have to get this sad update. The Seattle Mariners got eliminated about a week or so ago. So this means the longest postseason drought in North American sports continues. The Seattle Mariners have not made the playoffs in 18 years. 18, 18 years. That's... <laughs> That means that means that means anyone who was born on October twenty second, two thousand well, actually October twenty third, two thousand one, um, will be old will be old enough to vote will, will have never known a man will have never seen, known the feel of a Mariners postseason. October twenty second, two thousand one was the last time the Seattle Mariners played a postseason game. Game five of the American League Championship Series against the Yankees in the Bronx, in the old Yankee Stadium. And, uh, of course, um, the Yankees won that won that game to eliminate Seattle and advance the World Series, uh, breaking Lou Pinella's promise that the series would shift back to Seattle. Well, that's sad. Though. Eighteen years. Sounds like a, that's a Kanye West for Eighteen years. Eighteen years. No postseasons for 18 years. Can you believe it? And I, 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 the player I feel for the most is Felix Hernandez. All that great talent, all that great talent, he's got one of the best pitchers I've seen. Now he's kind of fallen off in recent years. One of the best pitchers I, I've seen. Never been to the postseason. He's been in the, he's been in Major League Baseball since 2005. This is 15. This is 15 seasons. Never been to the postseason. That is a very tragic anomaly. But, um, yeah, so the drought continues. Um, Seattle was the longest drought professional sports, and they earned that, they earned that unfortunate distinction when the Buffalo Bills made the playoffs at the end of the 2017 NFL season. Um, the longest drought in the NFL is the Cleveland Browns, which is the second longest in uh, North American professional sports. They haven't made it since 2002. But that's the story for another video. Um, so I have a lot, I have a lot ahead this week. Uh, tomorrow I'll take a look at the NHL special call for the video, and on Tuesday I will recap the first week of this great 2019 NFL season. And of course I'll be back next Sunday to, uh, for an update on the pennant races. So with that I say, enjoy the pennant races, enjoy everything else in sports. Good evening to you.